Hi everybody, Lemkin here. So a couple days ago I played in an online tournament. This is the first uh, quote-unquote significant online tournament I played in in quite a while. I used to play offline tournaments a little bit back before Covid, so that's quite a long time ago uh, now. Uh, locally in my area, in my country, some uh, TWT events. Um, and I played in uh, a lot of uh, what you call it, online tournaments before. I used to specifically play the PS4 weekly tournaments, PS4 Five Nights. I placed top eight in those before, won a little bit of money. So I do have some experience with the, the online Tekken tournaments. But this is the first real Tekken 8 tournaments. I've played in some of the 16-person tournaments they've been running on the PS5 lately. Um, so first, I, was, I wasn't really sure whether I was just going to upload this and then let it be, or if I was going to do a commentary on this. But I decided uh, last minute, kind of, that I, I am going to do a commentary on this tournament run. So you can go ahead and give me your feedback in the comment section. And let me know if you would like to. Uh, next time I, I do this sort of thing, would you like to do it with commentary, or would you just like the, like, what do you call it, the raw tournament, uh, like gameplay with with no commentary? Um so yeah, uh, first a little bit background info on this tournament. So this is the Tekken 8 PS5 one-on-one -on -one Road to Evo 2024 Closed Qualifier Europe. And this is a closed qualifier because they've been running these 16-person uh, tournaments, like small tournaments on PS5 recently. Uh, they've been running a lot of those. And everyone who placed, who got first place in one of those tournaments would get an invitation to play in this tournament right here that we are about to watch. The... Um, Road to Evo 2024 closed qualifier. So this is the Europe version. These tournaments were held in every uh, uh, on all the different areas of the world in NA, Europe, uh, Asia, what, what have you, right? And this is the Europe version because this is uh, the region I live in, of course. Um, so yeah, uh, again, this is a so this is a Swiss format tournament, meaning that. You have two lives, you could call it a double elimination, and players are just, it's not a bracket system. Uh, players are just seeded kind of randomly at first, and then they are uh, matched randomly, and then whether you win or lose, you uh, you gain points w uh, based on how, how much you win, um, how many rounds you win, and then you're seeded uh, with players of the same... Uh, points as you afterwards and then it kind of just like waters down as we go uh, Yeah, I don't really know how to explain it better than that <laughs> But yeah, that's basically the Swiss system uh, and then whoever ends up with the most points at the end of this uh, Tournament here will be the winners after ha having played a set amount of matches uh, So again, you have two lives so to speak if you lose once you still have one more life to go if you lose twice Then you're out of the tournament and by the end of the tournament, you can have both your lives left, but still not win. And you can have one life left. It, 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 it depends on how you do, uh, basically. So yeah, uh, let, let's just uh, jump right into it. Let's see. So first match we got up here is a, it's a Jin player. Now I always, I always write, good luck, have fun before the match start because I think just that's just good etiquette right we should do that and we should uh, encourage good behavior in each other right martial law. going with the martial law of course I can't I can not play law in these tournaments get ready for the next battle but yeah as you will see this this was a pretty good tournament I'm satisfied with the results We'll, we'll see at the end, and it was pretty smooth. Sometimes you can uh, again. This is this is an ESL tournament. This is not a uh, Tekken World Tour tournament, so it's not Tekken World Tour rules. This is kind of the old Tekken Seven rules. You can uh, so customizations are not allowed in this uh, tournament right here. Although you can see this guy, he put on customizations anyway. A lot of people kind of do that because, unfortunately, a lot of people, they kind of join these tournaments and then they don't really read the rules at all. They just, like, join up and then join the lobby and, and try to win, you know. They don't actually really care about the rules. <laughs> so, technically, 
if I was to report this guy for wearing a customization in in this match, he would actually default to lose the first round here. Now I don't re I don't typically do that because I don't really care. Uh, it's not my rules. Uh, I'm not. It's not on my authority to re enforce this rules, uh, unless they're using like usable customizations. Like in Tekken 7, you could have like guns and uh, martial law, for example. You could have like a unblockable pan thing. Right? That would be kind of weird to have in a tournament setting. So technically not allowed, but uh, yeah. Uh, and also in this tournament format, because it's ESL and not the uh, Tekken World Tour, you can. After you lose, you can pick a, char a new character, or you can pick a stage, but you can't do both. Uh, but yeah, as I said, this was a pretty smooth tournament overall. Uh, I did play very wombly, as you will uh, you will see. I play a little bit nervously here uh, than what I usually do. That's just what tournament play does to you sometimes, especially since it's been such a long time since I played in a tournament, really. And you will find out. Uh, if you have any bad habits or anything, you will typically find out about it when you play in a tournament for the first time or after a couple times because uh, those things are usually like way more pronounced when you play in a tournament. They, you will default back to your bad habits more easily when you're playing this nervously. Um, it, it's quite different from playing ranked or something like that. We all know about ranked and anxiety and stuff. We can all experience that, right? But playing in tournament is just a little bit more intense sometimes. Round one. But overall, it was a smooth tournament, fight. except for like there was one fight that was really, really bad. Uh, but we're gonna get to that later. Now yeah, we took the first game on the Jin player here. See, now I'm I'm very aware right now that the the ground is purple. Um, okay. So you you gotta be aware with Jin on this stage. He they, he likes to, he loves to do hell sweeps on this stage because of the breakable floors. His, his hell sweep becomes a launcher on this stage. So I'm I'm all I always have that in the back of my mind when I play Jin on this stage. I plus frames into hop kick. Okay, he opts for the the floor break in the combo. I wouldn't have done that. I would have saved the floor break, like do the hell sweep after the after the combo. Alright, up two rounds. Let's see what we can do here. Now it's been a couple days since this tournament, so I don't remember every single like interaction. I remember, of course, which games I I won and uh, all that, and whom I played, but I don't remember like the specifics, you know. I see if we can do a little comeback here. That's a two break. Now he does the one plus two break. I wasn't ready for that. Slide? Yeah, I know myself too well. Slide again. <laughs> I knew it. And another one. Testing his throw breaks now. That's a one break, by the way, in case you didn't know. I do that a lot as well. You know you know me by now. I do the crouch into stand up down four uh, three. Such a good round ender. Because it, it mind fucks people to like. They see me crouch, then they crouch, and then when they stand back up, that's when I do the low. It's so difficult to react to, or to, to to see what I'm doing there. So if people don't know how I play, that's usually always how I end up the round. Block the third hit. We even on rounds now. Oh, he does the the rage art. Into slide, and that's the first game. Now I have, uh, as you probably noticed by now, I have turned off the in-game music. Uh, I used to do this when I played tournaments in, uh, in Tekken 7. In fact, I used to do this all the time in Tekken 7. I would play without music, uh, but in Tekken, uh, Tekken 8, I've been playing with the music and. Play, going back to playing without music, it just seems weird to me now. Before, playing with music seemed weird. Um, 
I feel like I play better without music, but it just felt wrong this time. So I decided to not do that anymore. In the future, I'm going to be playing with music and in, in, even in tournaments as well. It's like it messed up my timing or something. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I'm not used to it anymore. Alright, so let's get into the next match. Get ready for the next battle. Now shout out, shout out to this guy, LifeRaft. He's actually a viewer of the channel, I found out. He wrote me afterwards. Uh, very nice guy. Round one. Fight. So yeah, so, so cool to meet some of you guys. I often, like... It's, it's, it's quite insane how often actually I run into some of you guys uh, online or in ranked or in quick match or in this case in the tournament, right? Uh, I often get messages. Uh, from you, from you guys on PSN, saying that you watch the channel, uh, you know you've heard, seen uh, my videos and all that kind of stuff. That's so awesome to see. I, I love, uh, I love seeing that. Round two, fight. Good jab, interrupt. Playing with the the nerfed uh, Dragonov here. Still quite strong character in my opinion, but, but heavily nerfed from what we used to see. Right. Trying to get fish for a counter hit here. Mm, trying to step the running two didn't work out. Nice duck. Didn't quite close it out there. There we go. Round three. Good poking. Fight. The setup, the classic lamping setup. There we go. Round four. All right, up two rounds. Fight. Back four is such a good round start as well. Good safe mid homing move. Out of range for the grab there. Good work on it. Slide. That's such a good, that's such a strong move as well. Get up free uh, on hit into slide. It like nine out of ten times it works every time. I'm a dragon. Boom. That should. Yeah, the trade there, I was uh, lucky. If I was just a little bit slower than that, uh, I would have get hit by that. Martial arts? Now again, he can change the stage here if he wants to, but he goes uh, straight into rematch. Round one. Fight. Just poking, poking, poking. That's guaranteed on hit in in the back. If you get wild standing four in the back, you can. Uh, if you're fast enough with the DSS, you can get the guaranteed uh, back turn grab as well. Does a lot of damage. Fight. Wall blast. There. Big damage. Last, uh, up hold three. Finish it out with the late for work Round grab. I think three. that's what it's called, right? Fight. That was a mistake. You can do get the guaranteed hold one, of course, uh, from that. I, th I think that's just tournament nerves. That was risky, but it worked out. <laughs> I'm, I'm known. I'm quite known for taking risks. Sometimes unnecessary as well. I gotta do more. I've realized I gotta do more up forward free instead of a uh, while standing two uh, mix ups. It's just more safe. Good step there, but I was too late on the punish. The free plus 4 4. Goes to the DSS. Wall crush into pressure.
tries to finish it out with a slide, he blocks it. Very nice. Round four. Well played there at the end, Fight. life raft. And yeah, misses the combo there. I don't usually go for that ender as well because it, it, it gives it uh, it ends your turn pretty much. Because the recovery is so slow on that uh, move, even on hit, your enemy will recover faster than you. Getting good use of that nunchuck today with uh, hitting it at max range, making it pretty much unpunishable. Right? That's something I've been trying to do more as well, using nunchuck in the neutral, trying to get it at tip range, catch people running in, sometimes get a counter hit launch, right? It's too good, uh, too good not to try it. Alright, so that's the second game, 2-0. GG's well played, life raft. And thank you for the support, man. Thank you for watching the channel, if you're watching right now. GG's well played. All right, next match, let's go. Now this is where we start running into trouble, if I remember correctly. Now I switched the outfit here. I do think the default free one is cooler, but the other one is just, I'm used to playing with the uh, Kung Fu pants. And I'm kind of sup superstitious like that. I feel like I play better with the Kung Fu pants sometimes than the default free, even though I do think the default free is cooler. So Kibi Omega here, God of Destruction, uh, Yoshi Mitsu, one of the best Yoshis in Europe. So this uh, just went from 0 to 100 real quick. Let's see how we do here. That was a miss input. And immediately you can see on my movement here that I start playing very differently uh, from, from before. This is, this is a di quite a different uh, kind of uh, Tekken game right here. Down 2-3 uh, is really good to, uh, to interrupt Yoshi's uh, shenanigans after his heat engage or stuff. He has a lot of setups he likes to do that uh, has a little bit of a wind up. And a lot of characters have issues uh, interrupting him, but Law has such a good, like, the down 2-3 is guaranteed counter hit launcher on many of those uh, setups. So always have that ready at the trigger when you, when you like, try to visually confirm, of course, block the down back 3-3. Free free. Try to visually confirm his uh, his movement after the heat engage. So, but be ready for down to down to free because it's it's very good to have in that situation. Damn, good patience there. One round each. No whiff punish, that's too bad. I think the recovery on that is pretty good anyway. This is not a good posi position to be in here, so you can get the wall blast. He doesn't though, he also Oki instead. It looks like it was, was worth it too. And I almost killed. Stay on the ground there is very smart, but he, he blocks the slide anyway. The down back free free is also uh, usually a good ender with Yoshimitsu at the wall, so that's that's another good reason to just stay on the ground in that kind of situation, as well as the unblockable setups too. Right, run into a down two, a down four two, very unfortunate right here. Now he t he takes advantage of the the wall blast there, goes into Oki, unblockable setup, just roll away. Now I do play Yoshimitsu, I'm, so I'm quite familiar with his uh, setups and his uh, shenanigans, although. It's it can be it's always difficult to play these Yoshi, especially these amazing Yoshi players. You never know what they might do, and they have like really creative setups. Some of them. All right, he takes first round uh, three to one here. Kibi Omega, crazy uh, Yoshi player. All right, so I opt for the stage select here, and I'm gonna go for the. Yakushima, because I want to eliminate walls. Now, Law is also really good with walls. He has a lot of... Uh, Law has a lot of uh, wall combo damage. But I'm going to sacrifice that right now, because I feel like I don't want to play 
uh, the Shoji on such a small stage. I want to get it out in the open where I can uh, use my movement a little bit more. So let's see, let's see if it works out. Round one. Fight. <laughs> Fade out the... A lot of DSS cannons here. Have to take the first round here. Hot kick round start, okay. I don't usually do that. I must have been reading something. I don't remember what I was trying to read. Nice, bait out the hop kick. Bait out the flash as well. No big punish on the flash. That's a launch punish. Though. It's so hard to launch on reaction though, but I could at least did a 3 plus 4 4. Or something. A run into his flash. What, a, what an amazing uh, read on that flash right there as well. Potential comeback here? Nah, I, I went up forward 3, I think into duck to uh, try and bait out the, the jab check, but he, he was smart, he did down forward 1 as a mid check instead. Because he knows that I can duck there. Step, that's very hard to step, you gotta be careful. It's better, best to interrupt that, uh, it's the guard break setup. Damn, this shenanigans. What a bunga round. <laughs> round four. Fight. You see, I'm playing a little bit desperately now. I'm throwing out a lot of risky stuff. Uh, nothing is really working. Good uh, punish on the CD1 is launch punishable. You got, you gotta launch that. Now, what's the combo? Stands up and blocks it. See, he knows. High caliber players, they know how to stand up there. So that won't work. Drops the combo, okay. Damn, what an interact. Spin. What a. Oh, the, the timing on that spin was amazing. That's pretty much it, right? Yeah. Yeah, so he takes it 2-0. So I lose my first tournament life here. I have one life left. If I lose, uh, if I lose another game, another set, then I'm out of uh, the tournament. So GG's well played, Kibi Omega. GG's well played. Now we move on. Now you will notice that this fight, the first. Uh, the first match here is from... I had to record this in my replays because I actually forgot to hit record on the... when we played this match until halfway through. So this first this first match of this set is uh, from uh, my replays, in case you were wondering. So that that's the reason. So we, we fight Mick Master, a... a uh, sorry, a Kuma player here. Buffed Kuma as well. Now this is not a matchup I'm particularly good with, but I do have some uh, a little bit of experience here. Now we take the first round. Round two. Fight. That's a guaranteed on counter hit. The whole string. Forward, forward, one plus two. Catch it out of the air with the heat burst. That's a good option. Side switch for no reason there. I don't know why that happened. I think that's just bare hitbox. But to be fair, that could have happened with a lot of characters. No break on the one plus two grab. Stay on the ground a little bit. Just wait him out. See what he does. See, I do double nunchucks here because bear players, they like to stay on the ground and do that, uh, the thing where they throw their hands forward right, try to catch you with the low. I should have seen that coming as well. The high, uh, what's it called? 
the guard break at the wall is so strong from the bears. And that's usually the option they go with uh, when, when your back is towards the wall, so I can't believe I didn't duck that. Stand up into crouch, into the slide, steal the round. I didn't think I would survive that rage art though, but uh, I, I guess I did. So we're up 2 0. Stole, I absolutely stole that round. <laughs> I can imagine he must uh, not be very happy with that. That's a very risky, but he didn't punish. Bears can easily uh, launch punish that. Now I just option select his uh, mix up with the. <laughs> with the. Back 1 plus 2, the power crush here. He does have low options out of that, so the hunting stance. Uh, and the ro the rolling thing there, but I, I thought that he might go for a mid or a high mix-up, so I just do the, the power crush instead. Of course, I would have gotten a bigger punish if I just uh, ducked uh, and guessed correctly on the high, but um, power crush in that situation is like the... See, there he does it, right? It's the less... What's it called? The less rewarding option, but also the more safe one. Alright, first round free, uh, free zero. Now we're back in the normal recording here. <laughs> Fight. This combo is quite hard to land on the bears, but I, I managed to do it. I can get a full hard wall break here because of this. I don't know why I went for that. I think that was just a brain fart because I know that that's not possible. The pushback is too great on that combo, so I have no idea why I did that. There we go. Fight. Both one plus two. Hit him out of the ground. Or out of the air. Oh, the counter hit one, one, one. Again, he tries. So you like, you see, he likes to engage every time. He loses distance on me, he likes to close the gap with the uh, forward forward 1 plus 2. And again with the 1 1 1 counter hit. He's getting a lot of mileage out of that. But I'm taking mental note of the fact uh, of his uh, forward forward 1 plus 2 into a hunting stance. There we go again. And this time I just straight up uh, launch him for it. I managed to get the counter hit before the, uh, for the attack ends. There we go. Round three. Fight. Oh, again, he goes with the high. Nice uh, throw break there. Is he gonna do it again? I bet he is. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Catch him out with the rage art. See, th this guy is... Uh, he's probably nervous because of the tournament and stuff. And this is what I talked to earlier about as well, right? The fact that you def you have a tendency to default to like some bad habits. And this is very much more pronounced in uh, when you play in like tournaments and stuff. Uh, now this was a little bit annoying because uh, normally you have to, w once these fights are done, you have to report your results on the ESL, the Esports League website. And this guy uh, didn't confirm the results, so I had to wait for like 30 minutes until the next match or something. Uh, this fight right here was absolutely horrible. You'll see why this, uh, yeah, this guy was on really unstable Wi-Fi. Uh, just uh, we weren't play. This is not a Tekken game right here. This is uh, just lag simulator 3000. Yeah, horrible, horrible game. Law. If you if your Wi-Fi is like if Wi-Fi can be 50-50, I played people on Wi-Fi that was like fine. Uh, I played wired connection that was uh, ho horrible some as well. But like when the, when you add up the numbers, mostly uh, Wi-Fi has a bigger chance of be just being shit, Get right? Ready. And this is one of those cases where it was just absolutely unplayable. So if you if you have this kind of unstable connection with with people, just please don't play tournaments Round like this. One. Fight. Oh, 
Yeah, it starts out pretty okay. So yeah, now it just dropped to three bars. 160 ping. There's a big lag spike. And this is when I realized, oh my god, this is gonna be so painful, especially with the June on Wi-Fi, right? So now I'm just thinking like how can I how can I how can I win this? Round two. Fight. And I I, I think I just look at that. It's a drop to one bar. Absolutely horrible. But yeah, I think I just figured that best way to win this. I'm just back uh, dashing right now, trying to think. I'm trying to stall right now. Slide at max range. <clears throat> I figured that I can just slide my way. If I can just spam slides and grabs or something, it will be hard to block the slides on this connection and it will be hard for him to break the grabs on this connection. So I think that's just what I'm gonna do. Like slide makes up, grab makes up. Round three. Fight. Back four. Trying to do a little bit of poking here. I'm like debating within myself right now. Should I just try and play normally? Right now it seems okay, but like soon we, you're gonna see it's gonna drop like crazy again. It's just insanely unstable. Lagging all over the place. You can see from oh my god! You can see from his character model as well. It's just twitching and like stuttering. There you go. Catch him out with the Round the power crush there. Fight. Drop the combo, of course. That's interruptible with a jab right there, but I didn't dare go for that on this connection. I would have just gotten clipped by it. Two break. Ah, just slide. Slide to victory. Again, this is not Tekken right now. This is just... Uh, try not to lag. Alright, we got the first game. Luckily. I would have been so mad if I lost this. Like, honestly. That's so irritating. Okay, so he goes for the... Uh, he goes for the... Uh, the stage select here and I've heard actually I think I read uh, was it yesterday or today I found out that there was actually some lag issues on Yakushima specifically uh, that that stage has a reputation for giving people uh, a lot of troubles uh, so uh, looking back at it now I thought that I thought that may be it but then we got we got a different stage here and it's and it is even worse on this stage so I know for a fact it wasn't that excuse me Alright. Fight. Got the descend into subconsciousness here. Uh, seems okay so far. At least better than the first time, right? So that's that was all a horrible lie. Tries to hop kick me there. Into slide setup. Guaranteed grab. Round two, 2 plus 4 grab is so uh, strong on the stage because of the floor break uh, properties, of course. Just take, go for the floor break here instantly. I, I don't dare do big combos on this connection and it's better to just get the floors out of the way. Especially because, look at this, especially because I know Juden has that 2 break that will uh, floor break and I, it's, so, it's gonna be too hard to break grabs on this connection. Look at this, I can't even land a like normal combo. This like 10 frames per second uh, right here. Yeah, look. <laughs> I was fuming at this point. Yeah, you should have seen me. <laughs> Get the perfect though. Two, up two rounds. This can't go wrong, right? Trying to down to free setup. I just want to end this as fast as possible. Crushed, uh, I broke a grab by some miracle. 
damn the range on that. Hop kick, something now. Slide, another one. No. Yeah, there we go. Finally, free round straight. What a horrible fight. Now, the worst, the worst part about this is that when we went to report the result, this guy actually wrote a protest, like opened a ticket with ESL, saying that it was try. He was trying to say that it was my connection that was bad, and he was trying to like nullify the match and and make them give him the win because of this. But of course, I took screenshots. I have the footage uh, here, right? I send it to ESL, and they, of course, instantly recognize that. Yeah, okay, this guy has a horrible connection. I one two zero. We just gonna accept these results. But what a guy, man! What a guy! First of all, you got you you play on this connection in a tournament. Yeah, fix your internet. I I tell him, <laughs> I was so mad, dude. First of all, you you got you play on this connection in a tournament, dude, on Wi-Fi, right? But then you have the fucking nerve. To go and open a protest ticket, telling uh, them it was my connection. Like, what the fuck, man? Yeah, fuck that guy. Uh, anyways, here. <laughs> uh, we got a Nina player up next. Next, Going pretty go good so far. We, we lost one tournament uh, live so far, but we're in pretty far now. Most people don't make it this far in these tournaments. So we, we're doing good. Making headway here. Working our way towards that uh, top eight spot. So top eight, top top eight to top five is fifty dollars. Uh, top five to top four is a hundred dollars. Top three is I think two hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, top two is three hundred dollars and a paid trip to to Paris uh, worth around three thousand dollars. And first prize is nine hundred dollars and a Paris trip all included uh, worth three thousand dollars. Went for the low pair there, SMK. Let's see what you got on the Nina. Quite aggressive. That's how it goes with Nina as well. This guy was uh, really cool though. Good sport as well. Nice low parry, dude. This is a high quality uh, player, I can tell. Broke the counter hit throw, but it doesn't matter. Round two. Fight. Fight. It's a small punish, but yeah, oh, okay, got the the fake flip. I do that setup as a lot as well. Missed the slide input there. The end the ending combos early with the spike, uh, dragon hammer for one plus two into sli instant slide, right? When if people they uh, do a quick recovery, you get a you get a little bit extra damage damage that way. Round three. Fight. Mm. Drinking a little bit of beer here. As I'm uh, watching this, commentating. Slide spam. Get the launch there, that's pretty good. Good trade. Two to one in rounds, let's go. No block on the can opener. You gotta block that. I usually utilize the uh, floor blast here. I'm a Damn, what was that? What the hell? I didn't even remember that happened. What? Oh, what a side switch. I gotta go back and uh, look at that again once I'm done recording. What the hell? The 360 down back free. <laughs> Alright, next round here. Nice counter. Caught him uh, going in there. Big damage. Up forward free. Get the wall slap. The option there, if they block it, then you duck and do while standing 1-2, right? Round so you get another chance at the wall splat. Fight. That's what I do at least. That was a miss input. Used to be able to parry that on reaction in, in, in a 7, but you can't do that anymore because of the nerfed uh, startup frames on parries. So dumb. 
The Nina matchup was so much easier uh, with Law in Tekken 7 because of the, you could parry a lot of her uh, like jailing strings as well. I get a lot of success today with the fake flip uh, kicks there. DSS free, cold free. I'm a dragon. Damn, what a not, what a low parry, dude. Try to fake him out as well. But this guy has good uh, mental fortitude. The anti mic another low parry. Is he gonna make a comeback here? And the rage are with punish. This guy's playing out of his, out of his mind right now. But again, he made it far in this tournament as well. You see, every everyone I'm playing at this point has made it as far as I have, with with uh, either one or both of their lives intact. That was not what I meant to do. I think I meant to do the grab. Up forward, one plus two. And there we go. Get the floor blast. So this is uh, this round is over basically. Yeah. Oh, oh no, it's not. Never mind. The spring kick is blocked. Final round. Fight. I should have low parry that. It's best to low parry that. Uh, you don't get a big uh, block punish on that. So, but it, he, he does have a, a mid option, so you gotta be careful. That's why you you got you kind of have to fussy dog it or fussy low parry. It. I'm a dragon. Uh, oh nice again with the low parry. This guy's so sharp. There we go. 2-0 again. Yeah, what's the point? I thought I might lose uh, to this guy, at least a game. So, yeah, very well played, SMK. Sign, whatever your name is. But yeah, what a fun tournament. I, I hope to do more of these in the future. And maybe I'll even live stream some of them as I'm playing them. Alright, so now we get to fight Endymion. Or Endymion, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Uh, Gostruction uh, Victor, he's one of the best players in, from Spain. I've seen this guy before. I think I played him before in the old Tekken 7 tournaments on the PS4 Fight Nights. Uh, I would at least always see his name on the leaderboards in top 8. He would make it so often. Uh, very high quality, uh, quality player. So I'm I'm already shitting my pants going into this fight, especially because of Victor. I'm not, you don't see a lot of Victor at my ranks, uh, so I'm not, and I haven't lapped him that much. I know like his basic moves, like his basic stuff, but like, I I only know the matchup at a, like a very like surface level, you know. I'm not at all comfortable in, in the Victor matchup. So already I'm not expecting this to go very well. Well, it's going pretty well so far. Got a huge live lead here. Stand up while standing four on get up. That's a punish. Running two. Hits. And then I, I just lose all of my... As quickly as I got that life lead, as, uh, this, this, as quickly I lost it again. <laughs> Counter hit the uh, throw on... Uh, on round start, I started doing that sometimes, the grab on round starts, because sometimes people will just run into them or attack into them, and counter hit throws are so good in this game, so it's actually like viable to do grabs on round start now, which is weird. That's, not, that's something I never did in Tekken 7, but uh, there you go. I start off with a uh, life lead again, but then I just lose it immediately. Slide. That was a miss input. I think that was supposed to be while standing forward, then I got a flip kick for some reason, so that was very unfortunate. And that kill as well. I didn't expect that. Down two rounds here, not going very well. But this guy is playing very well. To say the least. Running two. Get the counter hit on while standing four. Now I go for the low here, uh, you notice that, because I I expect a guy of this uh, high caliber uh, 
this kind of player, I expect them to know about the the upward free attack, so I expect them to stand up immediately. That's why I went for the low there. It does less damage, of course, but it, I think it had a higher chance of hitting, and it did hit, as you see. So, so yeah, that's why I did that. But usually, I will go for the nunchuck there. But that's not something you can always do at high level. I'm not sure what's the punish there. I don't know. Again, that's one of those situations. I think I could have gotten quite a decent punish off of that, but I'm not sure about the frame data of Victor here. Explosion. That's a launch punish. I know that, by the way. And I knew that as well. Like, right now, I'm beating myself over the head, like, going, why didn't I punish that? Because I knew that going into that fight. That's like, his Explosion up 1 plus 2 out of heat is launch punishable. I could have just while standing 2 and uh, launched him for that, but I didn't. But again, I think it was just the, uh, you know, heat of the moment, right? Running two, I get hit by those quite a lot. Stay on the ground here, and then get, as soon as I get up, I get hit by another running two. Guess the wall break takes me wall to wall, pretty much. Now here I do a nunchuck. I was expecting to catch him out of the air with the uh, explosion, but uh, I got him something else anyway. I try to do a slide on wake up, but I miss him for it. In a while standing four, and he gets me with the he smash as well. This is a very close run as well. A lot of these rounds are fairly close. I like start out with a big life lead and everything, but then I just drop it all on the ground. Like, yeah, just not the not my best moment right here. And then a trade. So I think that's like six rounds straight, right? And that's my last tournament live. So this is the end of the tournament for me. So GG's well played uh, and Dimian. I think he made it quite high as, as well. Let me check the results real quick. I posted these the other day as well. I don't remember exactly. Uh, let me see. So yeah, in case you didn't see that post already, the number one spot went to Ignorm. It's a German player. I'm not. I don't really know him. I don't think Tetsu got second place. And then Tibetano got third place, Kane and Trench, DBP, uh, Starbreaker got top seven as well. Uh, yeah, uh, Endymion, he got ninth place. So just outside of the uh, top eight, but well played, uh, Endymion. And I got the 31st place. So there was uh, 326 people who signed up for this tournament. 321 checked in. Usually there's a high number of people who sign up who, who, doesn't, che who doesn't make check-in. Uh, but this is not, was not really the case with this tournament because it was a closed tournament. So people had to, this is not some tournament that everyone could sign up for. You had to qualify to this tournament. Uh, so uh, tournaments that you have to qualify for, they usually have a high rate of uh, attendance. Um, so yeah, there was 321 people attending this and I got 31st place, which is pretty good, especially for a closed tournament where uh, the skill level is quite high. So I'm, I'm quite satisfied with that. Now again, again, I didn't place high enough to win any money or anything like that, but I had a good time. Uh, again, as I used to say, it's uh, not about the destination, it's the friends we meet along the way. And uh, yeah, I met some cool people, we had some good matches, except for that one match that was really like really shitty. But uh, other than that, it was a good tournament, uh, good to try it out again, good experience. I'm going to definitely, I got more, uh, I don't know what's the expression on, uh, in English, I've gotten more hyped to play more tournaments again. Uh, it's something I really want to do. And when, if I can go to some offlines, I will I will try and do that. And I think that's definitely something you should do as well. But at least online tournaments, I can whenever I can attend some big ones, I will try and do that. Uh, and I will record, of course, and upload my runs um, with or without commentary. That's going to be up to you guys. Uh, but again, I, I would highly recommend you you try these uh, out just for fun, at least. Don't necessarily join into to. Of course, you got to try and win, right? But uh, to do this uh, as a sake of experience, I think it's something that every fighting game player should try at one point, like trying a tournament, whether it be online or offline. I would recommend that you do offline if you got a chance to do that. Um, that that's when kind of my perception change of of, uh, of of the game and the people playing here and, and everything. Because I remember when I went to the first offline tournament ever, that's when I really understood that, like, behind the on the other side of the screen, there's another person, right? 
It's not always, I know it sounds dumb, right? But it's not actually always obvious to your subconscious that when you are playing that there's actually the the character you're seeing on screen on the other side of that character, right? There's a real living person on the other side of that screen sitting somewhere playing with you. And it, you kind of tend to forget that sometimes when, when, when you're playing uh, online. Uh, but that becomes not a factor when you when you go to offline tournaments you realize these who these people actually are you get to meet some of them and you get to put faces on some of them but that's so cool to to do and it it really helped out my out my mental game as well going into online after going to offline tournaments and all that kind of stuff so it's just overall such a such a cool experience to be able to do and i would highly recommend you you give that a try uh, go see your local see maybe you'll meet some new friends or or something so maybe you'll meet me who knows um but yeah, I hope that you enjoy this uh, my commentary on this uh, tournament run. Again, let me know if you like me to do this again another time, or if you just want like the raw footage without the uh, commentary. Um, yeah, <laughs> I guess that's uh, not more much more else to say than uh, yeah. Hope I see you soon. Thank you so much for the support. We're very close to 3,000 subs, so that's uh, uh, amazing. I would have never dreamed that I would uh, uh, that would happen, but. Uh, here we are, <laughs> almost there. Uh, yeah, thank you, thank you guys so much for the love and support. I hope I see you soon. Have a good one.